So right here in the files, it says boost underscore alpha SFX boost alpha. I don't know about you, but that sounds a lot like alpha boost. And you might see the title and think it's all clickbait, but this is coming straight from the text document right here. What's going on everybody? Today we probably have the coolest video that will ever be uploaded on this channel. I have access to the entire code of Rocket League Sideswipe. I am not joking when I say this, this is not clickbait. This is the entire in-game files for Rocket League Sideswipe. It is six million lines of code. And let me tell you, there are some new modes, some new items, new maps and a bunch of stuff to come before we get into looking at everything that will come to rocket league sideswipe for season three and even later huge huge shout out to ko he sent me this file and all credit goes to him his link will be down below and i need every single one of you to go sub to him please okay so without further ado there are 6 million lines of code here, so I had to break down all of the important parts. So I took it upon myself to spend almost 24 hours to throw it into a Word document and break down bit by bit the important parts of what is to come to Rocket League Sideswipe. As you can see here, we have all of the outlined items, new maps, game modes, etc. So, without further ado, let's go over it as fast as possible, because this will take a while. Um, the first thing that was notable is we see a goal explosion titled Anime. Um, I attribute that to Buffy Sugo, if you play normal Rocket League. Um, next goal explosion we see is Ballistic. Um, one thing about Ballistic is that it is a RLCS item. So, uh, we'll see later here that RLCS is specifically named in the files. So does that mean RLCS competitions will come for Sideswipe? I don't know. It's just uh, what they titled it. Uh, we have Beach Balls and Vampire Bats. We have Butterflies, which we already have. We have China Dragon, which I imagine is the Paper Dragon from Normal Rocket League. We have stuff like Dark Energy and Confetti. I'm not sure what that is, um, but we have Dragon, which I mean, I imagine is Dueling Dragons. We have Electric, which I imagine to be Electroshock. Uh, we have Fireworks. We have Fish, which is probably fa Floppy Fish. Sorry. We have Fruit, which is probably Juiced from Normal Rocket League. We have Geotech, Ghost, and Ice Shard. Um, I'm imagining Ice Shard will be Sub-Zero and Lanterns will be the Lanterns Goal Explosion. Um, it says leaves here, which is probably overgrowth. Uh, it says meteors here, which is probably meteor storm. Uh, it says neuro here, which is probably neuro agitator. We have the tactical nuke goal explosion. We have polypop most likely for polygon. Um, and then as you see here is where it says the RLCS. Um, we have poof coming to the game. We have solar flare, big splash. We have the regular standard tune voxel wall breaker um we have the breakout mark ii we have the dominus dominus gt endo uh we have the octane mark ii which is the octane zsr uh we have a takumi here uh we have the takumi mark ii the twinser and then this is something that's very interesting it is titled twitch um which if you guys don't know, the Nemesis car was a Twitch drop for normal Rocket League, which means they probably have plans to do some sort of Twitch um, drop system for Sideswipe eventually. Um, this could be all speculation. Uh, I'm just going off of this title alone. Um, we have the X-Devil Mark II, uh, which is in normal Rocket League. And we have this, which we'll see later in the video, called Z-Money. Um, so if anyone has any idea what kind of car that is, let me know. Uh, the only car that starts with a Z though is a Zippy, uh, which I do not think it stands for. Um, so I included every important piece of text, but not all text gives light onto what is to come. Like a lot of this just says like 
lockout, orange, assist. Like, um, it's nothing that gives us any uh, exact information. Um, so this is probably the coolest part, in my opinion. Uh, this talks about new game modes and playlists. And as you can see, we can see chaos is coming to Sideswipe. Does that mean 4v4? Probably not. Chaos probably means 3v3, which would probably mean we are getting a new map. As you can see on the left side, it talks about the different map names. So we can see default, which I imagine is SC. If you wanted to take a guess, I imagine Baby Park is probably considered short stack because you're like growing and a baby when you first start out. Um, and then we have Long Field, which I imagine is the uh, Chaos map. But like I said, this is all speculation. Do not take this as fact, okay? Um, so I didn't necessarily highlight them, but like stuff like the Breakout Mark II, like Baseball Cap, the Halo Toppers, Shades, um, Reverbs, Tomahawks, Stellas, stuff like that. Um, like I said, in order for me to not miss a single thing in this document would take weeks. And I wanted this to come out as soon as possible because honestly, this blew my mind when I first saw it. There is just so much just to go through. And as you can see, we're not even a quarter of the way through. Uh, calculated, we have quick chats, GG. We have great pass, no problem, nice shot in position. We have global events, which is something I forgot to highlight. Um, there is a what a save. We have so much information it's hard to take it in um this is something that i don't know if it's a brand new game mode or if it's just uh the tutorial because it could be either um if you remember in the tutorial you basically go through some rings and uh you basically just fly through them and then that is the tutorial for the game and it outlines just that here ring game mode trials game mode so is that the tutorial or is that something new? I don't know. Um, either way, super cool to see that in the file, nevertheless. So this is a brand new game mode coming to Rocket League Sideswipe. As I speculated, Heatseeker is in the game files. It is not only listed in the tutorial, but it's under game modes as well. So that's pretty, pretty cool to see. One thing that I saw here is said the word blueprint. Does that mean blueprints are coming to the game? Probably not. That's probably a uh, name that they used, but I, I highlighted literally everything. Um, dodge shot challenge. I don't know what that means. And I was hoping for you guys to let me know um, any information that you see that I missed, please, please comment down below. I think this will be awesome to bring back the hype for Sideswipe and hopefully you guys are excited as I am. Um, it mentions antennas here, so that's something coming. Um, it mentions bumper ball, which I can only imagine is a new game mode. It mentions frosted, which could point to snow day, and it mentions the world pinball. So is that a new game mode as well? I don't know. Uh, this is pretty cool. We have a new map that is jungle themed. Uh, we have volleyball, obviously. We have hoops. And then it mentions particle cube and cylinder. Does that mean mutators are coming to sideswipe? Uh, we have cinematics. We have baby park like we saw earlier. Um, so much to take in. Uh, this is when it comes into broken down sections. Um, we saw items thrown in at the beginning of this code, but this is where we really see it broken down by section. So this is uh, new avatars. So we have Bob's Ramen, Calculated, Cool Egg, um, Dave's Bread, Devastated, Dom. We got a Donut Eater, High Five, Junk Monster. We got a Lion, Mr. Monsoon, Mrs. Avocado, Narwhal. Uh, we got Pixelated Heart, Paw, Psionics, we got a Skull, SoCal Ball, uh, we got Star, uh, Avatars, Bubble Grid, Gray Box, 
and then we get to banners we have cracked egg bob's ramen coral which is already in the game uh crosshatch feathered geometry hoagie cairo flames salty um we have a i guess this is a psionics banner um so yeah as you guys can see there are a lot of the already established items uh from sideswipe in here so if you think this is me literally making up all this code i just straight up i would not take the time to do this and i would not try to manipulate the community like that um this is all from this text file here if you uh really want me to go in depth i can show you exactly where i pull it from but I think it for our sake, we should just go through the rest of the Word document. So we have Sticker Bomb, we have Zebra Stripes, Turtle, Thumb Banner, Sushi Roll, and then we get to Cars. So we have the Aftershock, and it also tells us the decals that will be on it. So Copycat, Gatto, uh, and then it again mentions a Breakout Mark II, so maybe they share, they share the same audio sound. Um, we have a lone wolf tire interesting we have lobos we have scorpion vesper we have a moose titan um this mentions some octane details um nothing too crazy there here it mentions a twinser we have the breakout we have a new decal for the aftershock um this mentions the breakout mark ii again uh, this is where it talks about the hyperflight decal, which we already have, the breakout vice, which we already have. Um, so yeah, we have moon dust. We have a new sentio. Um, another thing to note is that there are a lot of food-based uh, texts in here. So is there going to be a food uh, battle pass? Sorry, rocket pass? Uh, I don't know, but you'll see like stuff like lemons, pumpernickel um stuff like that all throughout uh like carrot um stuff like that so we got sentio stripes we got diestro stuntman dominus we have a brand new car i imagine uh called the muscle car in the files um my immediate reaction to this was to think of either the hot shot or the charger from um rocket league uh but yeah Let's keep moving along. We have the Endo, Endo Dino, Mummy, Livery, uh, Clown, and Stripes. We have an Endo Cupcake. And then this is where it talks about the Fennec. The Fennec is in the game files. Um, it talks about there being lightning. Um, and then it goes into the engine audio, the curvature. Um, so we're getting a uh, Fennec Flames decal, which is pretty standard. We're getting a ribbon decal, also pretty standard. We got a mantis body, very nice. Um, and then we also have the mantis stripes, and then also some decals that probably no one really cares about. Uproar, Marauder. Uh, we have the big buck for the Marauder, gas mask. Uh, we have teeth knocker, um, Dominus GT, which is cool to see. We got the Merc, which is already in there this is something that did not make sense um so this is where it starts to talk about boost and in the game files it is called sound slash boost slash purple drank which if you don't know what purple drank is uh it means lean um which if you don't know what lean is it's a uh drugs mixed with cough syrup uh so yeah as you can see here it talks about Purple drank boost uh, loop drank purple. Uh, so I imagine the developers weren't expecting anyone to see the uh, names of the files, but uh, here they are. Uh, we have the Merc Wizard, uh, which is obviously the Warlock. And then this is where we see the Nemesis, which was in Alpha, if you played Rock League Sideswipe Alpha. Um, and then we have Z Money. Uh, which, if you remember at the beginning, uh, we see a brand new car called the Z Money. Is that something like the Zippy? I don't know, um, but it is interesting to see. We have the toppers here mixed in with some wheels. So we have Sunset, we have Pitch and Head, 20XX decal. Um, one thing to note is 
although there's all this new items and new information, I did not see a single universal decal that is new. So I only saw 20XX, Kana, and I saw Snakeskin, uh, which all we already have. Uh, here's MG88. But as you can see, uh, this is where it talks about universal decals, and there's literally uh, no new uh, universal decals, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, new Spirited uh, Octane decal. It talks about the Scarab here. Takumi, Takumi Mark II, Takumi Copycat. This talks about a new decal called the Gati, or Ga Gaki, Gaki, something like that. Uh, AWD for the Twinser. We have Slimed. We have the Venom body coming. Uh, here it talks about the Werewolf, which we already have, obviously. Uh, Shapeshifter for the Werewolf. We have Bubbles as a boost. This is Tsunami as a boost. We have Cloudburst, Magic Missile, Confetti, Data Stream. Um, obviously, we still have these in the game. Flamethrower, Flowers, Hex Fade. And if you don't know Hex Fade, Hex Fade is a trail. Um, in normal Rocket League. So does that confirm it? You'll see here, uh, we see other trails as well. Uh, Hex Phase, Photon, Hypernova. Here it says Proto Trail Painted. And then it says forward slash laser, which if you don't know, normal Rocket League has the white or any painted Laser Wave 3 from the Rocket Pass. And this is what it looks like over here. Um, this is by far my favorite trail in Rocket League. And if they were to add a trail, as seen here, it would probably uh, make sense that they add the laser wave. Uh, we see the crackle boost. We see a lightning trail being titled here. Uh, we have the money boost here. We have the pickle boost. Um, pixel fire boost. Stylized boost. Power shot stylized smoke puff whatever that is we have a rainbow we have sacred slime um trying to think what else do we have here sunray uh like i said if i miss literally anything you need to yell at me in the comments uh super manga bolt we have a synth wave tachyon we have taco thermal we have tune sketch tune smoke tune flame and then it talks about trans pride in the files so i imagine there's going to be a month or event for trans pride and gay pride um so that's pretty cool we got watermelon um we have a bunch of thumbnails which actually tells us a bunch of decals coming so the aftershock uh has a bunch of new uh decals we have the hyper flight the stripes these all uh go to their each according vehicle so like the Lozano uh, is obviously for the Diestro, and we got that in the shop a while ago. Uh, I'm not going to name off these all one by one. If you want to take a second and pause it, you can. Um, here it talks about the Loot Llama decal. So here it begins to talk about different goal explosions coming to Sideswipe. Um, obviously, the big one's going to be the Reaper goal explosion. We have Atomizer, Butterflies, Dueling Dragons, Sub-Zero, Solar Flare, Kablooey, uh, Meta Blast poof anime core probably buffy sugo like i said earlier uh supernova which we already have tune techie uh which we see a lot of i don't know exactly uh what that could be uh we got the wow goal explosion already and then it goes into toppers here which let me tell you is a big letdown um but we're gonna fly through them so we got baseball cap antlers candle birthday cake ray bowler boombox bunny ears Viking Helmet, Chef's Hat, Captain's Hat, Cattleman. We got the GG the Clown, Derby, Cow Utter, uh, Dev Egg, which if you didn't see my last video, um, is a uh, one of the rarest toppers that are currently available. And it's only uh, out for developers, obviously. We got the Fez, the Halo, the Foam Hat. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Um, it says Hat Tourney Winner. Um I think this is all related to Foam Hat though, because on the actual Foam Hat itself, it says like number one champ or something. So this is probably something you can ignore, but I had just highlighted it because it said the word tourney. Uh, kind of cool. Hard Hat, we got Heart Glasses, Light Bulb, Little Bow, Mariachi Hat, Hot Dog, Mohawk, Octopus, Mrs. Avocado, Party Hat, 
Pirate Hat, Pixel, Pizza, Pixelated Shades, Plunger, Pork Pie, Rhino, Pellerhead, Rasta, Rooster Comb, Royal Crown, Shuriken, Santa Hat, Sombrero, Swim Ring, Stegosaur. We got a Witch Hat, Cat Ears, Wizard Hat, Work Boot, um, Watermelon, and then this is where the toppers end. So obviously, if you were like me and played normal Rocket League, uh, they have a bunch of toppers, but they didn't add any of the really cool ones. My biggest hopes were the uh, Jolt Bangle and Phoenix Wings from Rocket Pass 1. You guys know those toppers. And then there are like little animals that I also like. Um, if you play normal Rocket League, you would know those as well. Um, here, it's kind of interesting. They mention a common well um, present. So is that the mystery item in the shop? I don't know. Um, but it also mentions bronze, gold, uh, pro presents, silver, and then that is literally it. So I don't know that there are any new presents coming because this is the entire section and they don't mention anything besides that common well, um, which I didn't know what it was. Next in the code, it talks about quick chats. Uh, so we have a close one. We have an angry egg. We have an angry dev egg. We have a happy dev egg and a sad dev egg. Um, we have egg eyes. That sounds pretty nice, I guess. I think it just blows up the eyes and probably makes it like anime looking. We have an rainbow egg, sad egg. We have an egg trans rights flag um, egg. Uh, we have the happy sticker, OMG one, nice one. Uh, we have the heart, which obviously we got this rocket pass. We have the OMG one, and then we got OOF one and OOF two. Um, if you remember in the item shop, they recently added that. We have the sorry two, which if you don't know, we have two different sorry stickers. This talks about the season one um, rewards, which unfortunately I wasn't able to spot the season two rewards. So that is something that we will have to look at for a future update. Okay, so finishing up with quick chats, we have WoW and Trash. Um, then it goes into Wheels, so we have Arrow Mages, we have Aethers, Sea Stars, Asterias, Benders, Blade Waves, uh, Cephalos, Christianos, which are super nice, Shock Rims, Cutters, Dices are in the game, if you needed any more confirmation, Donuts, Dracos, Finnies, um, we got... FNLP, which stands for Fortnite. So anytime you see FN in here, that's what it stands for. Um, I believe this is like the uh, Loot Llama type thing. Um, so yeah, so we got Foremans, FSLs, Gaidens, Heroes, Helicopters, High Polys, Kiwis, Yamains, super nice. Lone Wolf Wheels, kind of interesting. Um, I don't think I missed anything over here. Let's keep scrolling whole bunch of wheels whole bunch of wheels stuff crust tomahawk tp19 this is something i actually want to cover really quick um if you guys don't know what the tp19 is um the tp19 wheel is actually a twitch exclusive drop so does that mean rocket league side swipe is going to get drops maybe maybe um and something that we will see later is there is a Stranger Things boost as well. So are they adding items that not that aren't necessarily going to be an event or are they bringing events with the items? I don't know. So hopefully we see Twitch drops come for Sideswipe. Um, here it talks about tunicas. We obviously don't have those. Uh, we have the umbrella wheels, Velocis. Um, the updates have been a little lackluster. So the fact that we have all this in the game files is promising. And what I'm hoping comes from this video is people see this and they want to get back into Sideswipe. So hopefully after seeing what we're about to go over, uh, you will be uh, hyped as well. So right here in the files, it says boost underscore alpha SFX boost alpha. I don't know about you, but that sounds a lot like Alpha Boost. And you might see the title and think it's all clickbait, but this is coming straight from the text document right here. Uh, it talks about anime, it talks about the Autumn Boost, which is a Stranger Things boost. We see Alien Liquid, Bubbles, Burnout, Christmas Presents. So if you thought if items were to come, this is probably proof for that. 
talks about comet confetti cupid digital and then we see more food themes items like eggplant I'm not too sure fireworks flamethrower floral uh fusion energy geotech glitch grass halloween hearts hex fades so much holiday lights which is an xmas boost we got the ink boost the laser uh which i think is laser wave i'm not sure we got the manga bolt uh nitrous money photon pixels pixelated purple drink once again which does mean lean uh it's just straight up uh rainbow we got a red boost we have scary faces which i'm pretty sure is netherworld we have sandstorm uh sparkles boost is coming in case you uh, are a big fan of that i know we got some musty fans out there uh watermelon we got a bunch of different uh audio files which are all again in the game so uh what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hide my camera and you guys are going to be able to look for yourself uh everything that is in the sideswipe code if you guys enjoyed this video and want me to go more in depth and make a part two for this, maybe making a whole list with pictures of items or anything like that, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I would really appreciate if I could get some help, maybe either looking through the video, seeing if you guys catch anything I don't. I want this to be a rejuvenation of the sideswipe scene. Because I love this game so very much. And I have a wonderful community on Twitch and YouTube. And I want you guys to be inspired to keep playing this game. And I, I hate to see people leave it. It really makes me sad. And I honestly think there's so much potential. And obviously the game files here um, show just that. Now that you guys have seen the entire file by yourself... Let me know if you guys catch anything and feel free to DM me on Discord, Twitter, Instagram, or any single platform. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. And if you are as excited about Sideswipe as I am and passionate about this community and game, please subscribe and check me out on Twitch where I go live every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are motivated and excited. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.